Hello and welcome back to Jimbo's PC Builds. When you buy a CPU, uh, when you build a computer, one of the options you've got is either to use the included cooler, especially with a Ryzen CPU, or buy a custom cooler. You've got many options when it custom comes to custom coolers, like water cooling or air cooling. But the question is, if you're not going to overclock, what real difference does it make, and is it really worth the investment? because a good water cooler can set you back over a hundred US dollars. So you've got to think, is it worth the investment? Now on my test bed behind me, here, I have an included AMD um, cooler right now. So what I'm going to look at is I'm going to look at doing a stress test on it to see what the temperatures get to and what boost clocks it gets to, to see if the cooler that comes with a CPU is holding it back in any way. Then also, I'm going to add a custom cooler to the CPU. The cooler I'm going to use is a Noctua NH-U12S. This retails for roughly around, I think it's between $60 and $100, depending on when you buy it and if you get it on offer. Now that's quite a chunk of change in terms of you can pick up some CPUs for that amount of money, so it's a lot of money. So the question is, what performance do we get when including this cooler and does it make a difference to the temperatures and boost clocks? Now obviously in terms of the former with your temperature it means that the CPU will last longer. So is that money well spent? Okay, I'm going to do the testing in terms of I'm going to do a stress test with the current cooler and then I'm going to do a stress test with the new cooler and see what difference it makes. So on my test bed I have replaced the stock AMD cooler with an October cooler. Fits in really nice with the test build, but let's see if it actually makes that much of a difference. So I'm running Cinebench with the new cooler in and I'm going to see what the temperatures come back with. Can't really see it running any faster now, but we'll see what the score max temperatures are and boost clocks are once it's done. So I've completed my test of the uh, Noctua cooler and I've compared it to the stock cooler and see other results. So here we are. With the AMD stock cooler on, the system um, CPU idled at 33 degrees Celsius. Its boost clock was around 3.9 gigahertz, but here's the key. During the Cinebench run, um, it peaked at 94 degrees Celsius, which is pretty damn high. And the score it got was 2478. Now that 94 Celsius is very, very, very high. And if you're looking to work the CPU that I've got in my test bench, which is an R5 2600, obviously that's going to affect its life because that's very, very warm. So after putting the Noctua cooler on, I looked at the same set of results. The system idled, so the CPU temperature was 24 Celsius. That's an immediate drop when the system is doing nothing of 7 degrees Celsius. It's still boosted to around 3.9. But here's the key, the max temperature was 52 degrees Celsius. That's a massive drop of 40 degrees Celsius. That is huge. Now the score actually went up to 2769. So that's an increase of nearly 300 points. So what that tells us is while the, uh, the CPU was boosting to the same clock speed, because the temperatures were much lower, it was able to sustain those boost clocks for much, 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 much longer. So the conclusion of whether the Noctua cooler is worth the money, I would absolutely say yes. For any user out there that's going to do anything that's going to hit the CP hit the machine, CPU, graphics, everything, the whole, the whole boot, kit and caboodle with any time of work, any kind of workload whatsoever, the, the, it's going to make a huge difference. Basically, the CPU is going to last longer, you're going to get more sustained performance. And there's one thing I've not mentioned yet either it was whisper quiet. The AMD stock cooler makes not a massive amount of noise, but it makes enough to make it audible. The Noctua cooler makes virtually no noise whatsoever. It was whisper quiet the whole time during the stress test and while idle. All right, so I hope you found that useful. I'm going to put a link in the description below for purchasing the Noctua cooler from Amazon, which is where I bought it. Okay, so 
please make sure you subscribe click the bell icon to um, be known when I've got future content coming out and as always take care oh and also please don't like